Yo, in this dreadful industry, I say absent is presence like memories of bygone enemies. Streets are driven by greed, you get cut off within the politics of the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming tonight. The actors and uh, directors of the children's monologues only met this morning at 10 o'clock and have had eight hours to put together this extraordinary show. Today's the children's monologues, which is a display or a testimony of the work we do, dramatically does in South Africa. And what we did was to collect 300 children's testimonies. We asked them to tell their happiest or their saddest day and have that performed both here at the Old Vic and simultaneously in South Africa, they're being performed by the children themselves who inspired the monologues. Although the, the preparation for this has taken months and months, this is the first time that all the cast and directors have come together. So it's either gonna be a brilliant, explosive, creativity leaking from the rafters or it's going to be an unmitigated disaster. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. How are you this doing? This is director Hello. one and director two. Hiya. Actors thrive off this kind of situation anyway. Yeah. Anyway, the testimony, of course, is what actually pulls you through. Yeah. It's the, the words that you're listening to. and uh, So, yeah, it'll be exciting. It makes it an exciting day. Uh, we're gonna try, there'll be some... We all turned up at, at 10 o'clock this morning, I had a quick cup of coffee. Quick rehearse with Danny on stage, and I think the maximum anybody's got is about 25 minutes. Doing literally what should take a week to do in one day. And if one actor goes one minute over, we end up with some of the actors at the end of the schedule not getting any time to rehearse. On you come. I could feel the oldness. I was, I was bigger. It's up to you. As soon as you establish it, as soon as you fight for that court, for that side. Good. Thank you both very much. See you later. <laughs> Hattie, hey. should we just read it through together? Yes, yes, my friend. The tears no longer threaten. Yeah. Okay, good. good. Let's jump to the end. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing to give them an opportunity to and say, hey, you know, no matter what's happened, you have the right to say and speak, and and people want to listen and people want to want to help and understand. And I think that's a very empowering thing. You are home. I said, your skin feels tired. I never said that before. My mother didn't look at me and put her fingers in his mouth and mm. they didn't see me. And they didn't smell like this. It's like yeah. essential. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Ah. Touch wood. I think everything is going okay. I, I still think Danny on stage is a bit behind, but that's because he's had to deal with all the technical elements as well as just running through. Paul, do you mind if we practice that just once more? Cool, so I can get old like my grandmother and then Jesus will come and get me. The feet were clumsy, but careful. I almost screamed when a hand yanked my ankle and I was dragged off the bed. Because they're children, they very often don't have a voice to translate or understand or um, communicate their experience. So any kind of introduction to a medium where they can relate what they've experienced, then I think that's great. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. A little jackal. <laughs> Spurting everywhere, dribbling, no manners. <laughs> I swear. 
<laughs> showing young children in these in these communities that there are outlets for their feelings, that there are there is room and a space for their stories to be told and and that they will be applauded and it's not about ego but it's a, they'll be applauded because it's about connection that their pain is everybody else's pain you know using storytelling to kind of help help in some way you know mm. and to rid you of know. taboo i think that's yeah that's a huge thing oh my goodness yeah. yes today is my best day brilliant they're saying how sad it is for me to be alone because you what you do is you say you speak to someone there, and then when they all come and you describe what happens to you, they don't they don't do anything. They will just they will just they will just be that goodie bags. We've almost done the goodie bags. Look at the foyer. We're on schedule as far as I know. Um, stage rehearsal, which is Danny Wall is running a bit behind, but I think we're gonna we're panicking. <laughs> That would be lovely yeah. to center to center entrance. Okay. We've only, I think we've only used it once before. So um, if you'll bear with me, I'm going to do it quite technically yes. because I know that the emotion is going to knock me out unless I'm really technical. Anything that responsibly counters the appalling way we treat our children still in the 21st century, anything that counters that, I'll be there. And my grandmother, because she had said, you know, she had said, hadn't she? <laughs> and if I'd listened, and after raping me for so many minutes, seconds, hours... Salani, Bazali, Bangane, Nessie's It's like, it's like it's a funeral. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Would you do it like you did then? Yes. So take a couple of steps back yeah. as you're doing it? Having had the opportunity to see my heroes and people who have inspired me, I know for a fact that for these, the, the kids who will watch today and to, to, to be able to see that this is what you can achieve, this is where you can go, this is what, you know, that there, there are no limits. I mean, that's, again, can't put a price on that. Even with the coming cutbacks, we still have amazing access, you know, to art in so many different ways, and it's transformed my life from my background. So you think, well, if you can help anybody else anywhere in the world get a bit of access to the arts, then you've got to do it. You know. Yo. The kids just went on stage in South Africa. I haven't seen a single scene, but I hear that people who have say it's really good. And it should be. It's a testament to these kids. Incredible, very brave children. <laughs> The actors and uh, directors of the children's monologues only met this morning at 10 o'clock and have had eight hours to put together this extraordinary show. But really, the people I need to thank are sitting in front of me. Uh, you have proven that these children's words really count. And that is really more than we could have asked of you. So thank you for listening. Look, I, I'm not the police. I, I'm here to help you. What is your name? Oh, got you. Okay, sorry, it's a misunderstanding. Innocent. <laughs> innocent. Innocent what? And they don't want it, girls. Infected. I don't want this baby. I know 
it's only your best day of school. But believe me. <laughs>